Hi, I'm Joshua Allback and today I'm going to show you how to do an Audrey Hepburn hairstyle. So I'm just going to show you how to um, start by prepping the hair. What I've done is I've used some hot rollers in the hair and that's just given it some really nice kind of body from the roots and just a nice really natural wave through the ends. Um, this is really good idea if you want to you know, start to back comb and get that shape that she had through the back. So what I've done is I've sectioned off from the side parting and we're just going to leave this front section out all the way down to the back of the ear. So this front section is just left very natural for the moment. I've also sectioned off the other side which is also to the back of the ear and we've got the whole back here. So once you've sectioned the side bits you are going to go and start from the back first of all. Now what I've done through the back is just literally sectioned the back into two different parts. So you've got the lower part here which is just under the, the crown of the head and then the top part which just goes up to the right to the top of the crown here. So I've just pinned, put some grips in going up here and we're just going to start actually with this this middle section here and we need to do a lot of back combing to achieve this this start because if you don't you're not going to get the height that you need through the top. Okay so we're going to start with this kind of top middle section here and really what you need to do is, is, is back comb this because you're not going to get the height that you need unless you do that. Okay so once you put your back combing under this section here what I'm going to do is just spray it with some hairspray and this is just going to help hold that shape so once you've brushed through the top what you can do is just wrap around the ends around your fingers and slowly roll it up until you you get that kind of lots of body through here so it's really nice and high through here once you've rolled it in just get a, um, a grip and just grip that in. And then one the other side. So once we've put the top up, we've back combed it, rolled it under and pinned it underneath, you instantly get that, that height through the, through the crown area. So what I'm going to do here with the back is just simply make a really kind of tight chignon or, or you can call it French pleat and get rid of all this hair here. So what I'm going to do is just wrap it around my fingers, kind of keeping it as tight as possible. And then twisting it in. So once you finish the um, pleat at the back, I've just put a couple of pins in to secure it. Now I'm going to start going through the sides. Okay, so I've just added an accessory here, which is really kind of giving that breakfast at Tiffany's look. So now what we need to do is just kind of do the sides. So now what I'm going to do is just kind of blend in the sides. So I'm just brushing it all the way through and I'm just covering a little bit of that accessory and then we're going to grip it. Okay, so as you can see we've got this end bit left here and what we can do is just wrap it around into another loop and just kind of pin it where you think looks good. So usually when you're, you're doing a loop it always looks quite nice just kind of um, underneath that top area here. Okay, so now I'm just going to repeat that on the other side. So we're just brushing the hair. Okay, so I'm just coming to the last sections here. Now you can do what you want with these sections. So what I'm going to do is just make them into loops and just pin them with a hair grip. OK, 
Okay, so now we're just going to finish off with a little bit of hairspray. And that's how to get Audrey Hepburn style hair.